Hello Retroburn here, this is a guide on how to improve the graphics of the game Deus Ex and I've just finished Metro 2033 and I wanted to and I want to try out the game again so um, this guide from Znokis tells you how to make it so that your game will look from this to that so uh, clicking on those hyperlinks will give you this, this is the old um, Deus Ex and once you install what is recommended it's gonna it's going to look like this one so I'm not going to install the uh, ENB thingamagic that is re recommending here the ENB series from Boris Voronsov because um, I don't know the bump maps just look so artificial so we're going to skip that one and so in skipping that one we're also going to skip OpenGL and DirectX 9 because uh, the only reason to install that is if you're going to install the ENB series which requires a direct DirectX 9 so we're going to skip these two and anyway uh, this hyperlink does not work anymore so we're just going to go ahead and um, go to Candy's site so uh, closing these so this is Candy's site so first things first, the updated XC. So if you're going to click on that, it's going to take you here. So I've already uh, downloaded this one, Deus Ex version 5.3. And it's, uh, where's that? Yep, here it is. So we're going to unzip this one here. And there you go. So, um, it's been a while since I've done this. I've uninstalled my copy of Deus Ex, so this might as well be a blind guide on how to do the things. So join me as I try to make sense out of all of this. So, hmm, what do we do? So first thing is to install this one. So, hmm, it's just a handful of files, so I, I suspect we'll have to go to where I've installed my wait not this one um, steam so you're going to copy paste all these to the system okay so we've done that and what's next source code nothing there so we're going to um, install what's next the HDTP which will enhance uh, objects and the Gunther Herman model so I've also downloaded this already. It's from I. Uh, you can get this from ModDB. So if you just search for wait, sorry about that. Hmm. HTTP. Use X. What the. You're just going to search, it's going to output um, lots of search results. The first one should be the correct one. Sorry about my very slow internet. So let's go here and you go to the download section of course so I've already installed this one I'm just showing you where to get it so you click on this HDTV release number one so I've already got it here already um, there you go so we're going to install this one okay yep did that already
okay so it has automatically detected where I've put the game so no problem there okay so take note that this um, mod project is not finished but it's going to improve the graphics of some of, of the objects in the game so it's not bad overall and after that we're going to KHTP the new vision so if you click on this it's going to take you to an outdated web page I think it's going to take you here but searching again for new vision deals actually should give you the updated site like so so if you click on this it's going to take you here so it's going it's it has a more recent version it was released uh, back in November 23 2012 so you're not going to need this hot fix I think because this is a new a newer version so I've already installed that I, I mean I've already downloaded that one right here oh by the way um, this guide also says that you have to install this whole C++ 2010 runtime so I've, I've already installed that I downloaded it but clicking on this one will give you the repair run install if, if you already have it on your system so no need for that unless of course if you haven't installed it yet so you just uh, you can just google visual c++ 2012 and it should give you a microsoft site so download download from there and so we're going to install the new vision let's go loading verifying installer so i'm kind of hoping that it's going to automatically detect where I've put my game just like what the HDTP mod did hey hey snazzy cool okay installation wizard to enable new vision textures bake your open GL driver for DUSX direct 3d10 render which offers improved visuals so um I'm running Windows 7. Custom launcher for the game. Candy's launcher. Okay, we've got that. Mm. Oh, it already has a direct 3D10 render by Candy. Okay, so. It already has Candy's launcher too, so. Uh, <laughs> this is good so we don't have the need for this okay stalling so that's going to cut the guide short because I was expecting that we have to go through all this but because uh, the new vision mod already has candy's launcher installed so we would we don't have to cover that so slow so yeah I should cut this video and maybe show you uh, after all the things have been installed show you how the game runs how the game looks so cutting it here okay so everything has installed and we can see the credits right here so let's press finish let's go to steam and uh, as you can see I've already installed the game here so let's click on play, play. and uh, one thing I've read from Kenty's site is that if you click on data directories it's going to show you a list of whatever mods you've installed for the game so let's click on this one and oh okay so everything has been really taken care of uh, the new vision mod has been uh, uh, ticked. So we'll also check place checks on these tick boxes, and click on OK. So that should enable Candy's launcher to load all uh, everything that we've installed, every modification that we've installed. So let's click on configure too. Mm, so I don't know about this non-scaling 
GUI thingy. Um, direct extend support. So yeah, I will use that one. And resolution is for uh, six. My monitor has a bottleneck of 1600 by 900. Sorry, cheapo thingy. I don't have those HD thingamajigs. Oh crap. Uh, so let's click on custom resolution. Okay, there you go. And default. Uh, let's just click on 16 by 9 just to be on the safe side. 30 bit color, detailed textures. What's non scaling GUI? I think I've already explained it here. We'll uh, search for it. Non scaling. Okay, he didn't. So let's leave that as is and click on OK. So I'm going to click on play and I'll stop this recording here and resume when the game has loaded. Okay, here we go. So oh, let's skip the intro. Oh, by the way, I've also enabled um, anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering in the NVIDIA control panel to 4x hands the smooth curves. sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you do. Okay, right off the bat you can see that. Uh, Open the door by clicking the right detailed. mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. The key on the desk opens in tech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Okay, so uh, you just seen how to improve use access graphics by means of Snowkiss Guide and Candy's tools and the HDTP and the new vision mods. So this has been Retrover. Stay cool, stay frosty. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Okay, see you in the next bit.